Why is it that in a world filled with information, misinformation thrives? The answer lies in the power of critical thinking, or rather, the lack of it. Welcome to the journey of unlocking your analytical mind. Today we're diving into 10 practical exercises for critical thinking. These exercises are designed to shape your mind, to question, analyze, and evaluate. So strap in and let's start flexing those brain muscles. First on our list is the Socratic method. Named after the classical Greek philosopher Socrates, it's all about asking probing questions. This method encourages deep thinking and illuminates ideas. Instead of accepting information at face value, question it. Ask why, how, what if. The Socratic method is not about getting answers, but about understanding the depth of the question. Second, we have the analysis of opposing viewpoints. This means understanding a perspective different from your own. It's easy to dismiss what we don't agree with, but true critical thinkers challenge their own biases. By analyzing opposing viewpoints, you expand your understanding and develop empathy. Third, we uncover the art of reflection. This is about taking a step back, pausing and assessing. Reflection allows you to examine your thought process, identify patterns and spot gaps in your reasoning. It's not about regret or self-criticism, but about learning and improving. Fourth on our list is the practice of active reading and active listening. This means fully engaging with the information you're consuming. Whether it's a book, a podcast, or a lecture, take notes, make connections, and ask questions. Active reading and listening foster comprehension and retention. Fifth, we have the concept of logical fallacies. These are errors or manipulations in reasoning that can mislead or deceive. By learning to recognize these fallacies, you can avoid falling into their trap and improve your logical reasoning. Sixth, we delve into the world of problem solving. This involves identifying problems, generating solutions, and evaluating outcomes. It's a systematic approach that cultivates decision-making skills and creativity. Seventh, we explore the practice of mindfulness. This may seem out of place in a list about critical thinking, but mindfulness enhances focus and clarity. It trains your mind to stay present, attentive, and open-minded. Eighth, we have the technique of brainstorming. This is a free-thinking, free-wheeling exercise designed to generate as many ideas as possible. It encourages creativity, flexibility, and lateral thinking. Ninth, we have the process of decision-making. This involves evaluating various options and consequences to make informed and rational decisions. It's a crucial component of critical thinking that enhances judgment and responsibility. Finally, at number 10, we have the habit of lifelong learning. The world is constantly evolving and so should our knowledge. Lifelong learning keeps your mind sharp, curious, and adaptable. These 10 exercises, from Socratic questioning to lifelong learning, are your keys to unlocking your analytical mind. They're not just about thinking, but about thinking effectively and efficiently. They're about understanding the world in its complexity and making decisions with clarity and confidence. So embark on this journey, flex those brain muscles, and unlock your analytical mind. Remember, critical thinking isn't a skill, it's a lifestyle.